Chez, what do you use? Is it a blanket? Is it a jacket? What is it? I mean, every day to cover their ass, what do you use? Because that's what you – oh, no, 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 the weapons of mass destruction. I know everybody in the whole wide world says they're not there, but no, I have secret evidence from right. my conservative friends that they were moved to Syria. Fox News told me. Oh, yeah, Iraq yeah. and al-Qaeda, everybody in the world says there's no link, but I have secret evidence stuffed very tightly up my buttocks that says, no, 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 actually there was a link between al-Qaeda. Yeah, and, uh, you know, oh, these guys, no matter what they do, it looks like they try to blame him. Yeah. What? No matter what they do, like shooting a guy in the face and then not telling about it for 24 hours? How dare we blame a guy for that? Yeah. We're so in, inconsiderate. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Get the blanket. Cover their ass. Cover their ass, he, Chaz. Is there nothing that they will do that you will not cover for? You are not a Republican. You are not a conservative. All you are is a sick sycophant who can't stop loving this Bush administration and covering for them no matter what they do. Pathetic people like Chez. You know, pathetic people who think, oh, my leader, my leader, I don't care what he does, I love my leader, I'll cover for him no matter what, because I'm in love with my leader, because I can't think. And whatever my leader does, it must be the right thing. How can people criticize him for starting a war based on absolutely nothing? How can they criticize him for breaking federal laws and the Constitution and losing $8.8 .8 billion in Iraq and on and on and, and losing an entire American city? How can they criticize him for all those things? He's my dear and beloved leader. Yeah, you got the worst president in the history of the country. And, uh, and if you're a proud Republican, you should say, man, this is not my guy. That's what you should say. This guy doesn't represent my party. This guy is a catastrophic, catastrophic screw up, and and you got to start planning for the future. But you won't do it. See, real some real conservatives like Bob Barr and American Conservative Union and Pat Buchanan on many issues, uh, and even Bob Novak, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. Even Sam Brownback of Kansas, Joel Hefley of Colorado, and Lindsey Graham, and Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, et cetera. They've all said at different times, "Hey, wait a minute. On this issue, this is going too far. This is crazy. That's not conservative." It's just not conservative. But see, Chess doesn't have a mind of his own. So he doesn't know what conservative is. He just goes with whatever his dear leader tells him. Chess, I have a great idea for you. You know how conservatives always go, you don't like this country. Move. Well, if you don't like our Constitution and our federal laws and our American justice system, I have a country you would love. It's North Korea, where you are forced to follow dear leader and great leader. So, Chess, enjoy. Louisiana, you got troubles there anyway. You might want to move to North Korea.